my students welcome to my class in today's class i am going to solve one more example important example on a heat equation the given example is show that do u by do t is equal to do square u by do x square subject to the conditions u of x comma 0 is sin pi x where x lies between 0 and 1 and boundary conditions are u of 0 comma t u of L comma t 1 comma t equal to 0. Carry out computation for two level taking h is equal to 1 by 3 and k equal to 1 by 36. Yes, these are all given data. Now you need to solve this equation do u by do t equal to do square u by do x square. Now we will write down the given equation solution. So, what is given? Given do u by do t is equal to do square u by do x square. This is our given equation. Now, compare this with general equation. So, general form of heat equation is what? do u by do t is equal to c square into do square u by do x square. When you compare these two equations, what you come to know? In place of a c square, what we have? We have 1. So, c square is 1. Yes. Then, what is given by the data? h is 1 by 3 and k is 1 by 36. And here, what they have mentioned? Zero, x is lies between 0 and 1. So, x is lies between 0 and 1 with what is the increment? Increment as given as h is equal to 1 by 3. As you know, h is increment of x. So, one increment uh, giving increment x to 1 by 3, then we have to stop up to 1. That are those are the values of x. So, what happens now? Therefore, x not equal to 0, x1 is x naught plus h x naught plus h means 0 plus 1 by 3, so 1 by 3, x2, x naught plus 2h, x naught plus 2h is 2 by 3, and then x3, x naught plus 3h, so it is uh, 3 by 3, so it is 1, so you need to stop up to this, means what, your values will be x naught, x1, x2, and x3, therefore, values are x values are 0, 1, sorry, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, and 1. And 9, t, for t, t is between 0 is less than or equal to t, is less than or equal to. Now, you need to compute up to 2 levels, what they have mentioned, up to 2 levels. So, 2 level means what? T, uh, your k is 1 by 36. For two levels, it is 2 by 36 means it is 1 by 18. So, you have to take values up to t values up to 1 by 18. What is that? This means t naught is equal to 0. t1 is t naught plus k. t naught plus k means k is 1 by 36. So, 1, 0 plus 1 by 36. So, t1 is 1 by 36. t2 so, T2 is T0 plus 2K. So, T0 plus 2K is 2 by 36. That is 1 by 18. So, what are the T values? T values are 0, 1 by 36 and 1 by 18. Yes. And using these values, you can construct the table. Yes. Write on the values in the table. Now, read on the values of the table here. These are x values, yes, these are t values. So, here x naught, x1, x2, and x3. 
here it is T naught, T one, and T only T two. We will write down the values for x naught. X values are zero, and here it is. Next value is uh, zero, one by three. Two by three, and it is one. Here t naught is zero, then it is one by thirty six, and one by eighteen. So we need to find these values. U zero comma zero, U one comma zero, U two comma zero, and U three comma zero. Here it is U zero one. One one, two one, and u three one. And lastly, u zero two, u one two, and u two two, and u three two. Now our aim is to find all these values. Again, by using the given boundary conditions. So give it the boundary condition. This u of zero t. U of one t equal to zero. Yes. Now, using this condition, what you are going to do now? By boundary condition, by boundary conditions, U of zero comma t equal to is what? Zero comma t means what? It is nothing but x naught comma j k. Yes, u of zero comma j. Zero comma j is zero. U of zero comma t is zero. For j is equal to zero one. Yes, it means this implies u of zero zero. U of zero one. U of Zero two. This becomes zero. What is this? This is first column elements. This. No. Another condition. Boundary condition is u of one comma t. What is this? U of one is what? One is x three. Yes. X three comma j k. Then it is. U of three J, three J means third column now. It is zero. For J is equal to zero one two. So what happens now? This means last column. U three zero, three one, three two. All are zero. That's last column elements. So in your table, first and last column elements are. Zero. Substitute them. Yes, we will put them in table. Okay. First column element zero, zero, zero. And last column zero, zero, zero. Now we need to find first, second, and third rows. As you know, first row elements can be found by the given initial condition. Yes, by the given initial condition. By the initial condition, what you are going to do? What is the given condition now? Initial condition is u of x comma zero. X comma zero. X is what? You are i h, and this one t naught. Yes, this is nothing but u of i zero. What is the fun function? The function is sine of Pi x i. Yes, this is your initial condition. Now go on substituting i s zero one. Yes. Therefore, u of i s zero zero. So u zero zero is sine pi 
x0. So, x0 is 0, sin 0 is 0. Yes? So, it is 0. u of 1, comma 0. First row elements. Yes? u of 1, comma 0 is sin of pi x1. So, sin of what is x1 now? x1 is 1 by 3. So, it is sin pi by 3. Sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2. If you want to simplify it, simplify it here only. Use the calc and you get it as 0.866. Next, u 2 comma 0. Then it is sin of pi into x2. So, sin of pi x2 is what? 2 pi by uh, 2 by 3. Yes, 2 by 3 is nothing but if you want, write it one more time. That is 2 pi by 3. Sin 2 pi by 3 is what? Again, you will get a root 3 by 2 only. So, it is 0.866. Yes, same. Now, that we need to, oh, this last element that is u 3 comma 0. Then, sin of pi x3. So, sin pi x3 is sin pi x3 is 1. So, sin pi is 0. Yes, you have got all first row elements. This first, this one and this one already you have got that is a 0. So, now we need to substitute these values. Yes, substitute them in the table. So, what you have got? U10 is 0 0.866, 0.866. Yes. Next is our aim is to find remaining root elements. Yes. Remaining second and third row elements. What you are going to use to find that? We are going to take help of schematic explicit formula. Yes. What was that? To find other rows, we use we use schematic formula. Yes. Explicit formula. So, what is that? The formula is u of i comma j plus 1 is equal to alpha into u i minus 1 comma j plus 1 minus 2 alpha into u i comma j plus alpha into u of i plus 1 comma j. So, we are going to use this one. Yes. Where? What is alpha here? Where alpha is? Alpha formula was k c square by h square. You know all the values here. We need to find alpha now. Yes. What is k? k is 1 by 36. What is c square? c square is 1. What is h square? h is 1, 1 by 3. So, it is 1 by 9. So, when you simplify it, 9 by 36, that is equal to 1 by 4. So, alpha is 1 by 4. Yes. Now, we are going to use this in equation 1 and rewrite. So, before that, let me clear you one more thing. That is, in the last example or in the previous video, what we have used? We have used the formula this explicit formula to find the rows, remaining rows of the table as u of i plus i of j plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2, u of i minus 1 comma j plus u of i plus 1 comma j. This, this we have used. One might have, may, uh, may have, may get the question. Yes, you might have a question that 
in this example why you are not going to use this we are using this equation one why so because this will, will be used whenever alpha is less than or equal to or alpha is equal to 1 by 2 yes whenever alpha is equal to 1 by 2 then we use this so one thing you keep it in mind u i comma j plus 1 this point we use this formula we use whenever alpha is not equal to 1 by 2 yes so whenever it is not equal to 1 by 2 we use alpha of u i minus 1 comma j 1 minus 2 alpha u i comma j alpha u of i plus 1 comma j if alpha is equal to 1 by 2 then to find u i comma j plus 1 we use the formula that is alpha into that is a i minus 1 comma j alpha into i plus 1 comma j here addition is yes. this plus this plus this this is the formula what you have taken now because your alpha is 1 by 4 now right that's why we are taking this formula understood let's move on now equation 1 becomes now substitute alpha value in the 1 so 1 becomes u of i comma j plus 1 is equal to wherever alpha is there put 1 by 4 1 by 4 u i minus 1 comma j plus 1 by 2 u i comma j plus 1 by 4 u i plus 1 comma j 1 minus 2 alpha 1 minus 2 alpha here this is 1 minus 2 alpha you have. So, 1 minus 2 alpha put 1 minus 2 alpha is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 4 now. So, it is 1 minus 1 by 2 that is nothing but plus 1 by 2. This we have taken here. Now, once you get this formula, now you can find the values. If you want, can take 1 by 4 outside. So, u i comma j plus 1 can be written as 1 by 4 u i minus 1 comma j plus 2 times u i comma j plus u i plus 1 comma j. Yes. You can consider this and go on finding next values. Now, to find the second row elements, to find second row elements in this formula, what you are going to substitute? Substitute i as 1, j as 0. So, call this as star equation as now. Put to find the second row elements. First row already we have found. So, to find second row elements, Put i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 0. So, when you put i as 1, j as 0, you will get 1, 1. Yes. So, then star equation becomes u 1, 1 equal to 1 by 4 u 1 minus 1, 0 j is 0 plus 2 u i is 1 j is 0 1 comma 0 plus u 1 plus 1 2 2 comma 0 yes now what it is 1 by 4 what are the values u 0 0 is 0 plus 2 times 
u1 comma 0 is already you know that is 0 0.866 yes again u2 comma 0 is that is also 0 0.866 so when you add them what happens and divide it by 4 you will get u11 as 0.6495 yes. now I as yes, we will underline this second row elements put I as 1, J as 0. Next, next is next, keep J as 0 fix, then put I as 2, put I as 2, J as 0 only. Yes, and what will you get? The star equation becomes. Star equation becomes u of two comma one is equal to one by four u one comma zero plus two times u two comma zero plus u three comma zero is yes. you know all the values substitute one by four one comma zero is what one comma zero is root three by two that is point eight six six so point eight six six plus two times point eight six six plus u three is three zero is zero again you got the same value so when you compute the answer will be point six four nine five so you have got u21 u11 yes next to find third row to find third row put is1 and js1 before that we substitute the values in the table as second row elements so second row elements is these are Point U11 is point six four nine five. U21 is also point six four nine five. Yes. Mm -hmm. We will check for the third row. And star equation becomes U1, comma J plus 1, 1 plus 1. So 1, 2 is equal to 1 by 4. The star equation becomes U of 0, 1 plus 2 times u 1 1 ij ij is 1 1 then u of i plus 1 comma j 1 so 1 by 4 u 0 1 u 0 1 is 0 plus 2 times u 1 1 u 1 1 is previously we found here so it is 0 0.6495 0 0.6495 plus u21 again u21 is 0.6495 just previous values so when you simplify so u12 we are going to get it as 0.4871 this will stop up to four decimals 0 0.4871 then for u22 put i is equal to 2 j is equal to 1. Yes. Then star equation becomes u 2 2 is equal to 1 by 4 u 1 1 plus 2 times u 2 1 plus u 3 1. So it is equal to 1 by 4 u 1 1 is what? 0.6495 plus 2 times u21 is 0.6495 u31 is 0. Same value that is why u22 is equal to 0 0.4871. So you got all the values, row values, last value, row value is substitute. It has 
पॉइंट फोर एट सेवन वन पॉइंट फोर एट सेवन वन दिस इज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दी सॉल्व दी गिवन वन डायमेंशनल हीट इक्वेशन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिराइव Lapis equation. Till then, take care. Practice the examples. See you in the next class. Thank you.